My role uh, currently is that of the acting unit supervisor here. The, the role of a unit supervisor at Old, Alder is quite diverse. Right this way, bud. People here have a combination of a mental illness and a, and a, a neurological uh, disorder. Um, and so it's the neuropsychiatric population that we work with here. So Mark, do you remember that, um, do you remember that music group that you went to, to trial? Yeah. It's a few months ago now, probably about yeah. six months ago. Yeah. It's a population that have been treated initially and stabilized um, on whatever treatment plan is, is in place for them, but require longer term care. Um, so they will come here for a, maybe a longer period of stabilization, um, but they're not quite ready for living within a, a long term care facility or some supportive uh, um, a setup or placement. Um, so it's it is a very unique um, area of, of healthcare, and then also a unique population as well. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Are you helping out, Stella? I'm fine. You're doing okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> she smashed into me, put me into a coma. I was in a coma for seven months. I've been to VGA, GBC, Royal Columbian. I've been to all the different hospitals around Vancouver. But I'm mostly brain injured. UC is very much an extrovert. He is somebody that has come from maybe a, a bit of a checkered or tumultuous past. Um, but here has been nothing but an absolute uh, pleasure to have on our unit. He is somebody that uh, can always put a smile on somebody's face. Make me feel great. Because they have respect for me. And if you have respect for me, then it shows. We have taken someone like UC and connected him with, with uh, a companion that is uh, of his background um, and culture in, in hopes of helping you know, support him more as a First Nations uh, uh, member of our community and, and trying to provide him with those, you know, those opportunities to connect with his culture. Well, when Malcolm joined the Alder unit, um, the program had only been open for a year and he stepped up to the plate as soon as he got there. It was a really great fit for, for us and, you know, he used his clinical wisdom, his, his compassion, his empathy and really looked at ways to improve the unit and patient care and, and we really appreciated the leadership that he took because of the fact that there had been so many changes and he really put patients first and really understood the staff needs as well. He lives sort of the, the mission of this hospital every day. He's very uh, dedicated. Um, he's uh, focused on making our program better. Um, he sacrifices for that regularly, uh, willing to change his schedule at the drop of a hat to kind of uh, fill in where he's needed. Um, although we're separate in that we're under the mental health program, we work as part of a community here at Langara um, and it's you know it's been one that did definitely have a, a tough beginning and it was a strained relationship at times but I think you know with the support that Arif and, and the uh, elder care program provided uh, to us and the mental health program you know working collaboratively we really did acknowledge that this was a community and worked very hard at, at um, working together to create something is, is, is nice as it has become. He uh, just shows the kind of drive I think that uh, Providence hopes for in leaders. Uh, somebody that uh, will go above and beyond and uh, never loses sight of uh, the, re the reason we're doing our work is to care for patients and do a better job of that in every way we can. There aren't very many roles where you have so much autonomy as, as one does out here um, and yet have still so much support. Um, I think that's a, a, a unique experience here uh, at Alder Unit as a unit supervisor.